hard to tag whales because you need to have flat water, a proper boat, an uh, incredible whale tagger that won't make a mistake, that will put the tag in exactly the right place, an incredible boat driver that won't put the animal at risk or the people on the boat at risk. And it's very scary. My heart pounds when I'm driving the boat right up against that whale, but trying to do it respectfully and carefully. It may feel like getting them ear pierced or something to the whale, or maybe they don't feel it at all. I'm not sure because they don't really tend to react. The tag doesn't work while it's under the water. So if you put it too low on the body of the whale, you are the best place to put it is right close to the dorsal fin because we know that it's a thick layer of blubber and there's a conjunctive tissue so you're not hurting the whale, you're just putting a, a piercing that compared to the human body would be like an um, insulin injection. It's more important to get that particular data to be able to fight the Japanese whalers. It's more important to be able to say these animals migrate to Area 6, these animals mate and give birth up here, and now we know exactly how they migrate down. But also that these animals go down to feeding areas that, where they will be at great risk. 